Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Let's head on over to Summit Falls to see if we can free the villagers from Salaman that were enslaved there by the Empire. Goblins will be easy enough to take care of. I'm just going to go straight to a Thunder 2 spell instead of prolonging the battle with, like, Blizzard or something, because, well, I need to kind of conserve my MP a little bit, and I'd rather kill these guys... Sooner rather than later, because they give pretty good money there. You could also go back to Poth, or wait a minute, yeah, Poth, to take an airship ride to get to Summit Falls if you wanted, but that costs a lot of money, and I can just walk there from here. It's not really a long walk at all. Oh, or we could just have even more goblins. We will eventually run into tougher enemies, just not today, but oh well. But these guys, yeah, just use whatever you want, shall protect. They're not going to be damaging us anytime soon, or at least not significantly. So, yeah, that ought to be good enough. Yeah, unfortunately, Thunder 2 is probably still just a little too weak, yeah, to deal with, like, Goblin Guards or anything with more than, like, 8 or 9 HP there. But, well, we got a little more strength there for Minwill. And here we got a new enemy, Soldiers! These guys have quite a bit of defense. They're not nearly as tough as the Captains we saw earlier. But we still will have a hard time piercing that armor with anything other than Maria's magic there. If you got, like, the tier 2 weapons, you could probably damage these guys a little more. But I don't think it's really worth it. I think these guys have just, like, 45 HP. Nothing extraordinary there. So, yeah, just go with your magic. Maybe get in a little work there for guy on his weapons there. Oh, spirit, nice. Now, as far as Maria's spells go, I would like to get Thunder up to level 3 and Blizzard up to level 2 by the time I'm done with Summit Falls here. Yeah, you see down here? That's where the waterfalls actually are. We're just going to go into the cave behind the waterfall. So, let's see what we got going on here. Because as we all know, in JRPGs, there's always hidden caves behind waterfalls. What's with that blue stone up there? Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Alright, and here we got another new enemy. Balloons! They stole my balloons! No, no. But uh, these guys, they are weak to fire and thunder. So, I'm going to just take... Well, hmm... I was thinking about taking them all out with just a thunder spell there, but these guys actually can't really harm me that much. So actually, you know what? Let's just let's go with that instead. Now the thing is with no, actually, let's go with Shao on Maria there. The thing is with the balloons there. If you damage them, they can use an attack called self destruct, which they will probably do here and deal quite a bit of damage to you. The thing is, with self-destruct, if they're at max HP, the ability just doesn't work. And there's also a very unusual property... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's a very unusual property to self-destruct where even though it's in a special ability, like a magic spell or something, that would deal normally fixed damage, to your party members, for some reason, self-destruct checks against your physical defense for damage, like a, well, like a physical attack would for, yeah, it seems really odd like that. But in any case, these guys do not have very much HP. I think they got like 20 HP. They're, yeah, weak to fire and thunder there, and we can take them out pretty easily there. Oh, hey, all right. And a little bit of, uh... 
Yeah, level up there. Okay, so yeah, for now, at the start of the dungeon, I would like Minwu to take care of my healing needs. And as far as MP goes, I mean, I want to conserve Guy's MP there. But like for Maria, I want to keep an eye on her MP. Make sure it uh, doesn't go below 13. You'll see why when I get later on in the dungeon there. But otherwise, let's see. So whenever I'm fighting balloons, what I like to do is have everyone who I have to have attack. I, I want them to all attack the same one. So that way, like in the previous battle where I was unable to finish the one balloon off and then it exploded right in my face. If everyone's targeting the same one, either they'll have a better chance of killing it before it can explode or... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, or it'll just be that one that explodes instead of, let's say I had Firion and Minwu attack different balloons and they both weren't able to finish them off, then both of them would explode. Yeah, see, there's that bow attack that lets those guys attack from the back row there. That's why I've been grinding up the M or HP in order to make sure that I can survive at least one hit of that there. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Yeah, like this. Uh, Therion, now that he's got uh, level 2 sword skills, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to land a hit most of the time, although I think he missed both of his hits on the balloon in the first round there. But alright, a little more HP. Yeah, that's the nice thing about doing a little bit of grinding there with your HP early on, is so that by the time you get to, well, like a dungeon where you're going to be operating on limited resources, you can't save in the middle of the dungeon there. So you actually have the HP to be able to, or the max HP, to be able to afford to leave your party members at relatively low HP. Instead of, yeah, let's actually go with Thunder here. Because, like, if you had so little HP, well, you'd be at risk of dying. Whereas now, I could lose, like, half my HP and I'd still be fine there. Of course, if I can actually hit the enemies, so much the better there. But, so far, mmm, wow. Maybe I should have had Maria multi-target her uh, spell there. Well, I can still deal the same damage with my lizard spell anyway, but that's okay. But let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go... Hmm. Yeah, let's go like this to finish off those guys. Furion probably has the best chance of one-shotting these guys at max HP. I was hoping that maybe all of them in the front row could have potentially taken out the three Sasquatches before Maria got her spell off, but unfortunately not. But we finished them off all the same. Hooray! Now one thing, when you multi-target a spell, is it, uh, what is it, it cuts the uh, base damage of the spell by 75%. But if, an, if the enemies you're attacking are weak to it, like the balloons we saw earlier there, uh, you still deal so much more damage that it's totally worth multi-targeting, at least early in the game. Later in the game, Maybe not so much, but we'll see what we can do. Now, remember, these guys can also attack Maria, even though they have no back row there. They could always attack Maria with their bow attack anyway. So, I like using Shell on her, even though chances are it's really not going to do anything at this point in the game. That is one thing about this game, is that like whenever you get like a new spell or something... It's, they're not really, a lot of them are just not going to be that useful right up front there, unfortunately. So what I like to do with guys, just go 
like start with some sort of buff at the start of the battle to help my survival and then if I can still get weapon experience for him then I'll have him attack in the second round to help kind of conserve his MP a bit more there. But otherwise, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go double multi-targeting here. I don't think it really matters what elements I start the battle with there. So far, the battles are pretty short at this point in the game. One, maybe two rounds tops. Well, I suppose it could take a little longer, but unlikely at this point. But eventually, the enemies will get tough enough where battles are going to start taking like three or four rounds to get all the way through there. Holy cow! So far, I think we're doing pretty good on our MP. One floor into the dungeon there. One thing you'll... and Or, wait a minute. Yeah, let's go Blizzard. One thing you'll notice in the dungeon is there's going to be all these doors around here that lead to, well, some of them lead to, well, further into the dungeon where you want to go, and others just lead to, oh, an intellect game, nice. How are we doing on that? But, uh, oh, wow, really good at this point, nice. But yeah, some of the doors will lead to, I guess, sort of trap rooms, or I don't know if there's a technical term for them. But they're essentially relatively small rooms that just have a really high encounter rate. Let's see. Yeah, why don't we go with the uh, multi-target there? So, if you wanted to use those rooms, like, for grinding or something, that could be helpful. By the way, one thing about multi-targeting spells on... Well, not on enemies, but on our party, there's actually a bug in this version of the game where... Well, you would think that if you got targeted with a magic spell, you, that would count towards your magic evasion experience, right? So you, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and you'd become more resistant to magical attacks. I'm surprised Maria's acting so fast there. But yeah, there's a bug in the NES version here where Instead of counting that towards your magic defense experience for each character, it, for some reason, counts towards uh, Furion using a white magic spell and, well, potentially getting... Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, a spirit gain instead. And that's something you could take advantage of if you wanted to. Like, develop Furion into a white mage in that respect. Hmm. Yeah, let's go oh, gang up on the other guy there. Sasquatch. Oh, now I get the double hits on the guy when I gang up on them. But yeah, the sprinters have really good physical evasion there. But yeah, as far as white mage goes, I still like having Guy be my white mage, even if I were to take advantage of that bug there. Because I really want Furion to focus all of his efforts on developing his shield levels and thus his evasion and his agility gains for, you know, reducing ambush rates and increasing my own preemptive strike rate on enemies there. But yeah, so far the treasure here is less than extraordinary. This better not be, like, starting a trend of any kind there. Now, as you can see, we're still relatively... I mean, this place has got, like, well, several floors to the dungeon. And you might notice we're burning through a lot of Maria's MP very quickly here. But fortunately, we do have a way of dealing with that problem. Once we get down... I want to wait until she gets down to like 13 uh, MP there before I do anything with that. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't we go... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with Protect. I was thinking about maybe having Guy attack so that I could potentially kill the Sprinter before Maria gets her turn. But we did anyway, so that works out. But, you know, if I ended the battle sooner, she might not have to spend MP, but still get credit for the Black Magic spell usage anyway. You could use these potions to heal up your party members, but I don't think that's necessary with Minwoo's MP supply there. He'll never run out. Another thing you could do... Oh yeah, right here. These are the trap rooms that I told you about. Of course, if I could actually get into the rooms, I could show them off more easily. Nice. But let's see. Okay, uh... Yeah, for this kind of a battle, because self-destruct checks against your physical defense, I want to use protect instead of shell there. Now, if you don't damage these balloons at all, they'll still try to use self-destruct on you, but because they're... Uh, me or what is it? Because, or if they are still at max HP, then it'll just fizzle and not do anything. But they won't die, of course. Okay, we got a little uh, extra strength for Furion and get a little bit of an attack power boost. Let's see, as far as that goes, yeah, for every four strength, you get one more point of attack power. Though that's not really the big thing for the strength stats. Okay, so let me see if I can show you something here. Let's uh, go in here. We got a trap room. And you just take one step and you would get into a battle there. So don't do that. One of them is real. And for now, it's the left door of this place. Yeah, there's another one of those trap rooms. Or fake rooms. Whatever we got going on around here. I am surprised these guys are not evading more of my physical attacks here. Well, one nice thing with Guy learning his spells later than Maria is that, well, they're still at level 1, so he's not going to be spending a whole lot of MP. Unfortunately, though, he's pretty slow against these guys with their high evasion stats there. Hmm, I'm surprised we didn't, uh kill those guys, but, well, that's okay. By the way, with the bow attacks that the goblin guards and the soldiers use, there is another way that we could deal with them with Minwu, though I would not recommend it. Basically, inflicting the silence or amnesia status on them, so they can't cast those spells. One guild? That's it? Man, they must have already strip-mined the whole place. But let me see if I can uh, show you the spell eventually. Oh, okay. We could just fight these guys again. Or we could get ambushed. Man, I could really use those <laughs> agility gains about now, game. Or at some point. I know my evasion percentage is just so low at this point that... You know, you're probably not going to get very many early on, but... Well, we'll see what we can do. Oh, right. The uh, spells for Minwoo. He actually has two spells that can do something with that. Or I could just finish the battle in one round and keep on going there. But, uh... Oh, we got a, uh... Yes, a level for the stabs there. Awesome. Let's see, let's go... Yeah, let's get a cure going on everyone. Took quite a bit of a beating there. Oh yeah, and I need to equip and remove that. And how does that look now? Yeah, that's good there. So, a little better on the stats there. Now, both he and Fear... Oh, that was 50 gil. But yeah, both he and Furion can... Well, deal multiple hits to an enemy there. I could probably finish this battle in one round here. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's keep going with that there. So, if I wanted to stop these enemies from using bow attacks on me, I could either use silence or fog there. 
Uh, the difference between the two is basically the same thing as the poison and venom status. Their, their function is identical, but silence status is a temporary one. Enemies can recover from that potentially at the end of any given round. Whereas fog inflicts the amnesia status, which is permanent there. So, but I don't think I like doing that because these guys are relatively common and I don't want to burn through a lot of Minmu's MP more than I already am for, like, casting Cure on the party and all that. So, yeah, I'd rather just, you know, just kill them. The bow attacks are not that extraordinarily uh, difficult to deal with or survive but uh well looks like we found them oh can you Does she... i don't think she says anything interesting no she doesn't but uh yeah that's uh i think they were saying joseph's daughter there and hey what are you doing here how's it going oh sorry spoiled it five seconds before they tell us there but uh okay Oh, okay. Ha ha. But, uh, okay, yeah, sure, uh, get out of here. But can we find where the Mithril is around here in this old mine? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II! This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!